getting hard to keep track of all the things that are racist these days. Jefferson statues, milk, not wanting African Americans to abort their children. That's racist. Now add another one to the long list. Cauliflower is racist. In a video posted on Sunday, young pioneer Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez explained to her followers that it is deeply problematic to grow cauliflower in urban gardens. Really think about it. When someone says that it's too hard to do a green space that grows yucca instead of, I don't know, cauliflower or something, um, it, you're, what you're doing is that you're taking a colonial approach to environmentalism. And that is why a lot of communities of color get resistant to certain environmentalist movements because they come with a colonial, colonial lens on them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Even adjusting for the fact she's dumb, which she obviously is, it's still confusing. What is she saying? We need a liberal Sherpa to help us figure it out. Kathy Rue is the founder of Catalina Magazine and a frequent guest on our show, and she joins us. Hey, Kathy, thanks so much for coming on. So, Thanks for having how, me. How racist is cauliflower? And I, let me just say, I don't like cauliflower, so don't look at me like I'm part of the cauliflower problem. I'm not. But how racist is it? Thank goodness. Um, well, it's part of monocropping. So our colonial ancestors um, grew cauliflower. So they're cropping the same old, same old vegetables, not good for the environment because it's the same nutrients in the ground. And it actually hurts the environment to have the same old, same old. So the corn, the cauliflower, it's colonialism. So she's talking about diversifying our vegetables as we should diversify our culture. So yucca instead of cauliflower is the way to go if you do not want to be racist when it comes to our community gardens. So, okay, cauliflower, I mean, it's a, a, you make a fair point. Cauliflower is a European vegetable. It originates in yes. the Mediterranean region, I believe. Right. Um, indigenous to the New World is tobacco that comes from the indigenous peoples of the Americas, and is sy syphilis, too, by the way. So would you say that Both tobacco is better... Well, I don't know now. I mean, tobacco is an indigenous plant, but you're saying it's bad, but it's, I, I don't understand. So you're saying tobacco is worse than cauliflower or better than cauliflower? It, well, the point is, it, the, the, the term is the monocropping. It's the growing the same thing in our earth. So there are no nutrients that are being new given to our land. So therefore, it hurts the environment. So if we grow new things, so forget the tobacco, forget the cauliflower. We need the new yucca. We need the new uh, frijoles. We need the new um, different plantains. We need different crops being grown to help our environment. So, but none of those, but can you say that the, the climate, the climate plays a role in this. So I don't think yucca or plantains grow very well in the climate of, say, New York City, Brooklyn, or Queens. Have um, we tried, I think those though? Are I mean, I, have right. we tried? So, those community gardens are usually led by people with time on their hands, those upper-class <laughs> uh, women, upper-class members of society who have time to volunteer, oh, not those middle-class uh -huh. workers. Yeah, yeah. So right. it's the a racist cauliflower choice, right? eaters. Are you concerned? Yeah, last question. Are you concerned about applying yeah. social justice standards to the food we eat? Do you think ultimately that yes. might, I don't know, drive us insane and cause food shortages? I'm afraid. I mean, we need to realize that salsa is more popular than ketchup. So if uh, we were truly racist, we wouldn't allow salsa in this country. So thank goodness we are such a wonderful country that allows diverse um, foods and uh, crops to come into our country, and we can diversify okay. our food and our crops. Yeah. <laughs> Every time We're I get mad at, at the left, I think, I think it must be living hell to be a member of it, because you'd have to remember all the rules. But <laughs> I don't think I could. I'd do it's all. It's not that hard. But, you know, Kathy, it's really, also you, good. Oh, it's, it's, it would be, it's baffling to me. We're so glad that you're keeping track, though. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you.